The Occupational Outlook Handbook is available from the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. It's at bls.gov backslash OOH. What the Occupational Outlook Handbook does is provide a forecast or an outlook, a forward-looking glance at the various occupations within the United States, what they will uh, pay, what the demand will be for those jobs. And it's something that used by, is used by the Bureau of Labor Statistics in order to get some idea of where the job market may be in 10 years. So what you can do with this particular website is you can browse around various occupational groups. You'll see that to the left-hand side. There's an, an area with you know, architecture and engineering, you have education, farming, lots of different broad categories. Or you can search along the top of the uh, web page, you'll see it says search the handbook. You can search for a particular occupation and find the category it falls into. You can also select an occupation by uh, the median pay. So what is the very middle number of uh, salary that you should expect from this occupation? It's not that it's the average. It's not that, um, you know, if you select $80,000, it doesn't mean that everyone makes $80,000. It means that the, the of 101 people, the very middle person has 50 people who make more and 50 people who make less than 80,000 or whatever uh, salary you choose. You can do an entry education level. You can do on the job training, number of jobs or new jobs that are in the uh, forecast or are projected to be in the next 10 years and what the growth rate is. So if you have an area that has a strong need for jobs, but the growth isn't going to be very uh, good in the, in the long term, then that might be something you might consider for your occupation selection. You might say, well, actually, it's, uh, there are very few jobs, uh, and it's, it's really going to be declining in the next few years. Maybe I should uh, look for something that's going to have a little bit more uh, need in the market. So that is one way of navigating, just sort of picking a broad category like agriculture, food preparation, serving, to see what categories fall in there. Again, you can also search. So if you're going to go into uh, business marketing, we can do a search for something like that. And we'll pull up a list of results from this handbook. In this case, we'll see there's an entry for advertising, promotions, and marketing managers. You have a market research analyst, business and financial occupations, a little bit broader category, sales manager, et cetera. And you can select the one that you're interested in. Each of these selections will take you to a much more detailed report on that particular occupation or category of uh, occupation. What they'll provide to you is a summary. They'll tell you what they do. So in this case, an advertising promotions and marketing manager does a very basic um, uh, definition of what the occupation does. It has a work environment, how, how to become one, what sort of degrees are required. So in this case, it says bachelor's degree, the pay, and the job outlook, state area data, et cetera. A lot of this is in the summary box near the top. And you also see they have tabs that reflect those exact same categories. So if you're interested in pay, you can click on the tab. And instead of just having this couple of lines where it talks about the median uh, wage or the for advertising versus marketing managers, you can actually go into pay either by clicking the uh, highlighted or hyperlinked pay above that category or by selecting the tab. What you'll see is a much more detailed uh, report for that aspect of the occupation. Same thing for what they do, what the work environment is, how to become one. And so as you're looking for information about uh, the requirements for a job, whether or not you need training or cert certification or degree, whether you want to know what sort of aspects you might bring to the job, um, knowing what the job requires and also what the work environment may be like, might give you some insight into how your particular skill set can be brought to bear upon that occupation. And again, the job outlook is particularly uh, of interest because you can see whether or not it's uh, going up or down, and it will give you some numbers, uh, some base numbers of the actual number of jobs and whether it's going to have an increase or a decrease um, percentage rate over the next uh, 10 years. In this case, they pulled the data in 2019, so the 10-year projection goes through <clears throat> 2029. It's very handy to print these items. You can just click on the printer-friendly version of this, and it should be able to uh, pull up your print dialog box, and you can print that out.